Well, hello and welcome to the best day at work ever. We are here at Birmingham Symphony Hall, somewhere I've been many times. I've enjoyed many concerts here, some of them with this remarkably fine pipe organ. But we're here, not, not for me to doodle about, but to find out much more about how this remarkable instrument and this building in which it sits actually works. We're now with um, Colin Lapis here. Uh, what is your role? and your link to this organ. Yeah, so I'm the organ scholar here at Symphony Hall and also at Town Hall across the road. Um, and yeah, my role is to basically be the sort of face of, you know, representing the organ here at B Music um, by assisting the organists in, you know, recitals, different concerts that come in, uh, sort of doing social media things and just being somebody who tries to link somehow the organ and the community together mm. uh, and just yeah this is an instrument that not a lot of people get this close to so no. trying to make it somehow accessible for people who have never seen an organ let alone heard an organ before you uh, sort of work under thomas trotter yes. who's been the organist here since 1983 40 yeah 40 years very impressive just in october i think yeah so yeah and, and is your role a, a shorter post yeah, it's two years. two years, so I'm here for another year after this, yeah. yeah. And, and what's your personal story? Obviously, that, that's not a Brummie accent. No, <laughs> no. Um, so I've come from Boston in America, mm -hmm. um, and I was a chorister there in a sort of cathedral choir school, um, and just always sort of saw people playing the organ and play the piano a little bit, and yeah, eventually just did a bit more organ playing and mm -hmm. sort of turned into working in churches a little bit, and then eventually getting the opportunity to come study at the Royal Birmingham Conservatoire, which is wow. just on the other side of town. Yeah. So, uh, so what so, sort of age did you start playing organ? Uh, 12. Okay. Yeah, so 12 I started. I don't think I was <laughs> very good for about, I don't know, four or five years. Maybe not that long, but it's, it's a bit of a weird, it takes a little bit just to even realize what you're doing because it's so yeah because uh, as, as someone who plays a little bit of piano i'm yeah. definitely not a, a musician <laughs> but of course i'm used to bass is kind of done with that hand yeah but well, with organ your your foot your, is more doing the bass yeah generally is, is more chords with left and yeah it, well, it's a right? lot it's a lot of really like tight passage work just a lot of moving parts and i mean you'll see a little bit but it's just yeah, yeah. It, but even just to be able to sort of tell your foot to do that while you're doing that is, yeah. is just weird so once you get past that bridge point which maybe two years in, i was like Gosh. playing somewhat confidently mm -hmm. and then taking organ lessons and then i've been here in birmingham for almost three years oh, so wow. yeah which is unbelievable. Yeah. <laughs> Time does indeed fly. It does, yeah. Yeah. So now we're going to learn a bit more about this very special organ and uh, how it works. So we're down here with what's known as the electric console. The mobile console, yeah. the portable, whatever you want to call it. Uh, so this is connected to the organ itself via this chunky great cable yeah. <laughs> down to the side of it. Yes. And we're saying there's a bit of a lag with this one. Uh, yeah, it's not too bad. And it's, it's, I mean, it's, I think it's dead on. If you, if you were to put this via this cable upstairs and play it, it would be very you know, immediate. Yeah. But I think it's just the sound really. Oh, because um, there's just so yeah. much space. So if you were to put it at the back, it would sound crazy. But yeah. it's, yeah, it, it, but actually you barely notice it. I've played a lot worse as far as that in big cathedrals and things. So this is, this is pretty good. But yeah, it is, actually, this is a very unique organ because of the two, consoles yeah not only because it has two consoles which other organs have but it has uh the mechanical console upstairs which is completely done yeah so you press a key it moves it things. moves rods and yeah we can look at that later all kinds of stuff to actually literally have a physical connection to the pipe mm -hmm. whereas this is you know basically a, a light switch it's on or off um i mean it's a, quite a sophisticated mechanism yeah but this organ basically has both like electric and mechanical which is very unusual mm. and it is the largest mechanical organ in the uk wow so uh yeah, yeah I, I have been fortunate enough to um, see it in action before I, i've come here there, there were silent movies with live organ accompaniment were absolutely fantastic to watch so i know something could have power this thing has got and what is it two 
No, 6,000. 6,000. 6, 6, pipes. I got to get the two, exact number. About 2,000 but... seats, isn't it? And 6,000 <laughs> 6, pipes. 6,000 pipes. Yeah, over 6,000. Uh, and I mean, so while we're here, actually, it's a good place to show you. But a lot of that is in this uh, central case here, including those on the, the sort of towers, yeah. which are some of the pedal pipes. 16 feet in length and down the back sides there the little crevice there's also mm -hmm. some big 32 foot long pedal pipes that Gosh. are i mean huge huge yeah, huge yeah. but then there's also organ in both of these two doors yeah uh on both sides and you can even see on here it says left and right mm -hmm. so if you're here the, these stops are in there way at the back Wow. Um, in another box, which I can tell you more about later. Yeah. And then there's other ones on the left side. So if you're sitting right here, you get this amazing surround sound effect. Yeah. And what I love the most is playing upstairs and actually using some of the stops in here. And you get like, it just sounds like it's in another building mm. because you, you, they're, they're shooting that way. And so when you're there, it's just sort of like, you're playing this thing and it feels like it's a monster sort of very far away. But I mean, it's just, it's such a unique setup basically. Yeah, yeah. So Cool. Well, yeah. we're going to do something I've never done before. We will hear the organ in action. Don't worry. I know some <laughs> of you are desperate, but we're going to go behind there and see what's what. And this is the bit I am really looking forward to. <laughs> the cool thing, I mean, this is where you can tell because with the mechanical thing, you can just feel, just have a feel of the keys. There could, way different to downstairs yeah. um, and they get a little bit heavier towards the bottom so if you just and they're right i mean it's right here so yeah, yeah. Uh, but you can just hear the mechanical thing just there's a train coming So on the bottom, the bottom keyboard or manual is the positive. Mm -hmm. So it's the sort of um, quite German inspired part of this organ. And okay. it is li literally right behind yeah. here. So right above our heads here. And to downstairs, it doesn't sound even remotely as loud. It's, the, it's definitely the sort of, of, at least of these three, it's the quietest, but it's mm -hmm. also the, the most sort of quaint. And you'll see what I mean. Um, so these are the ones right here. And you can just hear that they're very sort of delicate in the way they speak. You can see that when you build this one up. Uh, yeah, you can hear the stops actually physically. Yeah, you can try one in a second. Uh, they're just sort of, uh, it's got this sort of brightness to it. Yeah. And you can even make it a bit, if you use the sort of flute sounds. Um, so it's quite quaint and you can use it for a little bit of a echo effect. So if you do something like this, it's basically a smaller version of the same thing yeah, yeah. up there. It sounds louder here, yeah. but downstairs. Oh, it just sounds tell. lovely to, because you're so close to it. You really hear. The yeah, you hear the full thing. Places. Yeah. Um, there's, This one's the great. This is the sort of main keyboard, if you will. Um, and this has the sort of core organ sounds um, that sort of, yeah, when you hear this, you'll sort of think, oh, right, this is an organ. This isn't a trumpet or something. Uh, we can sort of fatten that up a little bit. Um, Yeah, and then you can just sort of build it up even more, add a bit of 16 foot. Oh, 
Lovely. And so sort of nine times out of 10 on the organ, you'd probably be playing on this keyboard mm -hmm. because all the other keyboards can couple to this one. Okay. So, um, you know, you'd be using does, this. Does that change the weight of the pedals? Uh, the, of the, the keys, keys forever? No, long answer. There's a long answer. I think originally it did. On most other mechanical organs, it would. But if you're into the sort of nerdy thing about the organ, about this organ particularly, the couplers aren't mechanical. So on the grate, if I'm playing on the grate, you can hear it's that mechanical thing again. Yeah. But the second you use what we were just playing, the positive, on the grate, it's actually using the electric... Um, the sort of the ah. same mechanism. So you're mechanically playing one and electrically right. another? Yes. So if you were to play all of the home, all of the, the different divisions on their own keyboard, then it's all mechanical. Yeah. So it, it all does play mechanically. But the when you couple it, because then it would be too heavy, because then you're having the weight of four exactly. keyboards. Exactly, that's what I was thinking. And yeah. then this is going up too, which makes it harder. So... You can just hear it's on or off. Mm -hmm. So that is as if I were playing it from downstairs, effectively, because it's yeah. the electric version. So anyway, it doesn't really make a difference when you when you build up the organ um, to a huge degree. It all still sort of plays. It just that way, basically everything feels the same. Mm -hmm. The grate is a little bit heavier than the other ones, I find. But yeah, and then so that's the grate. You can couple everything to this one, like I said. Then the swell is the first one that has. Um, the box, and you can hear it if we just, is it right, sort of behind the big trumpets. Oh, yeah. It's like so, something creeping around. Yeah, yeah, somebody walking. You can't hear it, like, particularly in the hall, but um, it's just kind of cool, because it does remind you that we're right here. You have some of the most beautiful stops on this one, this beautiful flute. which is a uh, French-inspired mm -hmm. harmonic flute. Um, and then you have some of the sort of real sort of anger to the organ. Um, if you close the box and sort of uh, keep it all contained. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that, that is Dracula's castle. Yeah, it's really cool. Uh, yeah, they have the human voice, the vox human, which is supposed to sound like the human voice. <laughs> it's a sort of Baroque-inspired mm. thing. I'm not sure it sounds like a pop star nowadays, but there we are. Um, you can add this to any stop on the swell, which is the tremulant, which you can also hear. Which oh, is, so is that a paddle? It's sort of shaking the, the wind. Oh, okay. So you get this sort of shaking effect. Oh yeah, the vibrato. Hear the sort of rattle, and I'll take it off. Mm. Oh, it's very pronounced. It's very pronounced with some stops, especially the reeds. So if we go back mm. to that human voice. Yeah, it gives it a lot more character. Yeah, right. But it's sort of an effect, so mm. you don't always use it. Um, we do the oboe too, which is particularly nice on this. Finally, we have the solo, which 
It is interesting here, because I, I said before with the, um, the two different parts in the re reverb chambers, those are yeah. also on the solo, technically. But we have um, really, I mean, it's probably my favorite uh, of them. It's also in a box, and the, the, you can see the shutters right there for the solo, so oh, it's yeah. also right above our heads. So. Uh, we have this, which is a stunning stop, which is the Cor de Nuit, it's a little flute. Just hear it fade away. Mm. We have the um, strings, uh, which I'll speak about in a minute. But So again, just using that box to really liven the sound and create mm. a bit of expression. What's actually happening there is there are two sets of identical pipes. So here's one, here's the other. Well, maybe the second one's a little bit smaller, but um, they're slightly out of tune from each other, so much that you wouldn't even be able to hear. But when you put them together, because they're out of tune, they create this little clash that makes that sort of stringy sound. Which just sort of floats, Beautiful. especially if you use that box and you can even... Yeah, and then, as I promised, the, the two bits in here that sound like they're in another building, ready for this. Oh my gosh. That's amazing. It's amazing. A but long way away. It's not a long way away though. It's right behind there. So yeah. that's why it's cool. And of course you have the box inside there. The core anglais, which I played downstairs. Yeah, it's really, this is the best seat in the house for these, I think. Mm. So, and the amazing strings. Right, just before we leave here, should we do the big pipes? <laughs> yes. So these are the big pipes, and you just feel the air sort of move around you. Wow. What does that sound like as part of a chord? Yeah. Um...
Then, of course, you also have the... So that's 32 feet long, yeah. that pipe. And there's also a trumpet, which is 32 feet long, which is also down here. Which I think are just behind. Yeah, that kind of sounds like a pneumatic drill. So you can make an organ, make rude noises. <laughs> yeah, that's right. Brilliant. It doesn't sound like much of uh, actual pitch. I don't yeah, think, yeah. But... Of course, so, that's another part of the organ is the pedals. Right. And some of the dancing on the pedals is just extraordinary. Yes. I'll do a little bit once I get my organ shoes on. <laughs> but yeah, yeah, yes, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. That can come along even further for the, for the main view, which is the back side of the console. Uh, <laughs> Gosh. So this is, this is my favorite part, actually. Not that I'm massively knowledgeable or into the tech side of things, but this is, the thing is that in an organ that's this big, you know, the largest of its kind in the country, uh, it's actually not technological at all. This is all just, you know, this has been, they've been doing this for 400, 500 years. Mm -hmm. um, and there's actually wind sort of going under us. You can see yeah, it's yeah. coming through. And those all, so basically every single pipe has something connected up to here. So it just opens up. So you can see them sort of all coming out of the keyboard. And um, if I just go back and press some keys, you'll see them moving. Yeah, so yeah. tell me if you see something. See anything? Oh yeah, there we go. So that is what happens when the keys are pressed. That's going off and operating one of the valves on the pipes. Brilliant. So we've just walked into what feels like a cupboard, but um, actually it goes up, well, I don't even know how far that goes up, a very long way. So this is one of the reverb chambers. And it is also where we have another bank of pipes. So earlier we heard the pipes playing either side of the organ. And uh, here are some of them that were doing that. And they've got these flaps on the front so you can uh, swell, it adjusts the sound level. Yeah. From full on to really mild. Yes, totally. Um, I can go play it in a second, but you can see. So in, in here we have um, three stops, which are the, the strings, the mm -hmm. very expressive strings. Um, which when you're in the hall just from here sound like they're coming from heaven um, and then also the French horn which uh, Somebody's gonna call me out for this, but I think that those I mean surely they're those sort of weird looking cone shaped things yeah, yeah. Um, and then also the uh, oh gosh uh, strings French horn and oh, the, there's a trumpet and a trombone, which the trombone is the big one you see at the back. Okay, yeah, yeah. Um, so it'll be a little loud in here, but if you don't mind that, yeah. I'll go just do it. And I'll move these around, so stay clear, yeah. but you can see it moving. Okay. So just shut this. So we'll start with the strings. It's very weird. Oh, there we go. So that's the swell closed. That mutes the sound. Oh, very mellow. Bit of sound. French horn. Trumpet. Oh. Did you get it? Yeah, yeah, that was really good. Was it too loud? No, no, it was actually really pleasant. Oh. <laughs> but around here, you can see the doors that open up into the auditorium. Oh, I didn't even know there were these doors. So this is how the sound are these doors too? gets out. And are these controlled electrically? How many of these are there? They're controlled by a pneumatic airline system. So oh, wow. Are pistons, uh, each door weighs approximately a ton, mm -hmm. um, and they're all operated from side of stage. Crikey. Um, would you like to see the blower unit for the organ? 
Oh yes, that must be quite <laughs> a machine. I've just been told you're into cars. Yes, I am. So, uh, this is Shepherd. You quite often do the tours here. I do all the So you can tours. you can come on a backstage tour <laughs> here at Symphony Hall, which I would thoroughly recommend. And you can do an organ tour as well with both him and I. Yes. Oh wow! And so they're sold out for the moment. But oh, okay. Yes. Get some more booked in. Yes. Yes. Definitely. If you want to do the in-person experience, then. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Excellent. Cool. Let's go and look at a turbo. Uh, when the organ's in use, the reverb doors have to be at 100% so that all the sound from the pipes in these chambers, either side, can actually access the hall. There is an option though where you don't have, at the moment, echo! You can hear how the sound travels up, all the way over, and then it comes back through the doors. Well, these are drapes. So, as you can see, there's a track on every level, uh, and there's these big cones everywhere. Again, a button side of the stage, you push the button, it runs along the track and it creates a bit more deadening in the reverb chamber. So you can still use the reverb doors at 100%, but this, if you were using anything amplified, you would definitely want the curtains. Wow. Yeah. Not called curtains, they're called drapes. Drapes. <laughs> <laughs> very large turbo. That's a very, very big electric motor. It's a lot of air. <laughs> yeah. Is that the whole, that's for all no, the organs? There's another one. Right, that's there's what I thought. One, so this is mirrored the other side because you've Gosh. got a, a box of five to six thousand points. Yeah. yeah. And they're split between the two. So this blower does this box on this side and some of the, the pipes in the back of the organ. Yeah, the yeah. other blower does the other box, the other in the other reverb chamber and some more from, um, in the back of the organ. Yeah. Amazing. Yeah, I feel a bit nervous standing underneath that. <laughs> well, the, obviously it's counterweighted, so the canopy weighs 32 tonnes and this weighs 32 tonnes. So this will go. So after you, you're gone today, I will have to drop the canopy down to 14 metres, because mm -hmm. at the moment it's at 16.38 metres, because uh, we've got an orchestra in next. Uh, so it's coming down to 12 and a half, sorry, not 14. Uh, so that will be very high up there. Blimey. So this is a, a good time to actually see it yeah. in the flesh. Excellent. And again, you can just see the amount of space behind yeah. here. So this is the reverb chamber. This, the counterweight is in the reverb chamber. This is half of the size of the hall again. Yeah. Back here. Blimey. Blimey. That really has been one of the best days ever. I <laughs> came to many concerts here, never imagined I'd be on this hallowed stage playing this hallowed instrument uh, in my own amateurish little way. But huge thanks, Colin, for showing us yeah, how, it, how it really works and showing us behind the scenes of this fascinating uh, instrument. And uh, as we mentioned, there are tours booked out at the moment, I think. Yes, but, but we put them on all the time. So Excellent. Yeah. So um, head to bmusic.co.uk and you'll find out about events that are on here and also at Town Hall as well. There's a, a lot going on. Mm. And uh, I, uh, that group does a lot more stuff with children and yes. encourages youngsters into this world of fantastic music as well. So yeah, thank you very much yeah, of for showing us around. See and uh, yeah, get booked in for a tour. And we'll see you very soon. Bye.
I have no idea what that was. Well, I quite liked it. 